Hey, uh, welcome to the uh, Ultimate Parapet Videos Part 2, Part 2, Timer Started. Um, you know, I've done these videos many times, or I've done a few of them, but I think it's always good to kind of go back and review and redo it again to see if things have changed. And I think, well, I think the, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, when you create a, a, a parapet-type wall. This is a parapet wall, you know, flat roof parapet wall. How do you build that parapet wall? I think in, in the old days, people talked about building polyline solids. Well, I think they have a place, but I don't like polyline solids because you don't get the framing and whatever else. I don't like polyline solids. I know in a, in a pinch I would do it, but most of the time I wouldn't. So then, then the question is, how do you build it? Do you build it with walls or do you, do you build it with uh, 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 half walls? I don't like the half wall idea for several reasons. First of all, uh, well, I talked about it in the other uh, video. Uh, first of all, if you put doorways in this thing, the doorway goes the doorway goes all the way up the top, and it's it's not open. This is a, this is a door over here, and, and it doesn't go up the top. This, look, I, and this this here here this one here, I used uh, parapet wall. I mean, I used half walls. Over here, I used real walls. Uh, I used the real walls, and I controlled them by the ceiling. With these half walls, I still have to control the ceiling height with 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 um, you you. If I don't control the uh, if it's not a default ceiling height, if it's not a default ceiling height, look at the framing. Look at the framing goes all, all the way up to here. So I, I still have to control this stuff with the correct ceiling height if I want to use balloon frame walls. So I don't want to fuck. Around. I don't want to mess around with uh, using half walls. I, I don't. Look, some people will use them. Perfect. By and large, I don't think they, the way to do it is with half walls. I think the way to do it, the way to build these walls, these parapet walls, is with full height walls, and you control the tab. You control the uh, U. Uh, here it is. Tab, U, U. And you control this by the... You control it by the rough ceiling. I'm just telling you. Control it by the rough ceiling. How about 60? See? It went up a, a, a bit like that, right? Okay. By the way, by the way, this is kind of cool. Watch this. You tab. You you. What is the rough ceiling on this? Rough ceiling is uh, uh oh, 168 and a quarter inches. 168 and a quarter inches. Watch Watch what. Watch watch this right here. This is my uh, this is my cap, so I can, so it covers it up in plan view, so it looks like a cap. 168 and a quarter. Uh, control V. It should be right at the top. Well. What do I know? Hang on. Tab. You, you. The height of the ceiling, the absolute height, not the relative height, but the absolute height is uh, 168 and a quarter. Control C. Cancel. Cancel. Come over here to this, this, whatever. This, this is a piece solid, which is in my cap. Uh, U, U. Uh, control V. And it should be right at the top. Without, yeah, see, you got the Z fighting. Because, but it's a half inch thick, right? So all I have to do is raise it up about one and a half inches, uh, 1.5, and it should be right, right, sitting right on top of the wall. Piece of cake. I love that. I love that. In fact, I made a mistake when I made this cap. And the, the purpose of the cap is here, here's the purpose of the cap. W. No. Uh, the pur uh, F6. The purpose of the cap is if you look over here, if you look over here, the purpose of the cap is to, uh, if I don't use a cap, Looks like a solid wall, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a railing wall, does it? So what I do is I go here, uh, make room polyline, perfect, and I go one plus, which gives me my concentric resize, and I go, I concentrically resize this, and so concentrically resize, perfect, 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 perfect. I turn it into a uh, piece solid, okay, uh, piece solid, perfect, okay. And I make the uh, elevation top control V. It's back into that thing right there, but it's one and a half inches thick, 1.5, bump, perfect. Uh, but I have to raise up one and a half inches because it's one and a half inches thick. Uh, raise up 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches, perfect. But I want that to be UU, and I forget what material it is. Uh, material is uh, plan material, just so you can see what's going on. How about red? There, that's my cap, but it doesn't show my ceiling in the, in the t bottom, right? But I actually want a one one and a half inch overhang on this thing, so I just go tab uh, one point five uh, tab one point five. Now I have a one point five for my cap, 
the the the, the railing cap extends over one and a half inch. Just pick your pick your number. I don't care. Okay, but it doesn't have a hole in it anymore, does it? So I I, I what I do is I select this thing, I copy it in place. Z, z, uh, copy, I just copy it in place, and I resize it to like uh, right about there. Tab minus ten. Tab minus ten. Bump. Oh, I didn't do it right. I I, I had a feeling I didn't do it right. Uh, try it again. Here, here we go. Uh, zero zero to copy and place. Right click this time, you nitwit. Oh, escape. Left click, you nitwit. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, sorry about that. There it, it should be a left click. Uh, tab uh, minus ten minus ten because it's a it's a it's a it's a ten inch cat minus ten. Perfect. Uh, over to here. Oh, Control Z. I got to get out of my. Uh, I got to get out of my. Uh, Concentric resize mode, right? I think this is it, isn't it? What is this? I think this is it. Bump, bump. I hope I did it. Yeah, I did, did, did do it right. So I have a piece solid on a piece solid, right? So I take this piece solid and I cut this piece solid out of it. And now I'm going to create my railing cap, delete original. I just created my railing cap, didn't I? See how clever that was? I, I created a railing cap on here. I know it's at the right perfect height. And it's a railing cap. And it serves two functions. First of all, it gives me a, a – I don't have to use a railing wall. I know the railing wall is great because you get a railing cap. But this – there's always exceptions to every rule. But I, I like this way better, this better because oh, – oh, oh, here it is right here. You, uh, you. That's it. You, you. Give it a fill. Oh, fill, uh, uh, fill style. Fill style, a solid, background color. Now it now you can see that it now bam. Now in plan view, I covered up that, that railing, the railing wall, right? So it reads right, doesn't it? Doesn't it read right? It doesn't have, read, read as a, a tall wall, it reads as a railing wall, and that's pretty darn cool. Now here's something that's very interesting, and I can't quite figure this out. And so look. I'm not going to mess around with these half walls. I don't like half walls. I, they're more – in my mind, there's not any disadvantages. There's any advantages to it. The reason why the full wall works out pretty good is because now I can start tweaking it. You know, I can I can do this uh, tab, tab. I can do this kind of thing. Uh, put this down, tab, tab, minus one. Yeah, see, I mean, I, I can, I can, I can give you a parapet wall in different shapes, right? In fact, you're gonna say, well, how did I even get this this curved curved parapet right there? Well, what I did is I put a curved roof on top. I, I did this in another video. I changed the height. The, the, the bottom line is the height of this wall is UU. It is not the default. It's not it's not default to wall top height, but the curve was defined by a curved roof, and it, it's very tedious. Believe me, it's tedious. To mess around with that, so uh, take, pick your poison on that. But if you really insist on doing it, maybe maybe the piece solid is the best way to go. But I'm just playing around with it. I, I rarely do I have to mess with this stuff. I don't live in Arizona, but I don't. I, I flat out I don't like the half wall. It doesn't work for me. I, I don't know what the advantage of, advantage of it is. So let me let me see if I can sum this up quickly. How would I build this? How would I build this thing? This is this, this, this is my ideal. This is my ideal parapet wall situation. How would I build it? It's two floors actually. It's two floors down a level. This is the first floor. You, this is the first floor, and I go up here as second floor. Second floor. Second floor. The ceiling height is defined as 60 inches. I don't know why I picked 60. It's just 60 for this particular. It's a five foot high parapet wall for whatever reason. So it's actually two floors, one on top of each other. The floor structure itself. What is, what is the floor structure? You, you. The floor structure is actually uh, floor under this room. Edit. It's just it's just floor joists. Just floor joists. And there's ceiling joists. And there can be, be whatever thickness you want. I don't I don't care. Okay, and what I also did at the same time is I also selected I also selected this wall U U and I selected this this wall U U, and I made this wall uh, go through floor below. So now I have a balloon frame wall. Suppose I don't go through floor below. What happens? Boop. There. See what happened? 
I didn't go to, through the floor anymore. I have balloon frame on the left side and I have it on the right side, believe me, I do. But here I don't, it's, it's stepped on the top of each other, uh, timer up. But here's an interesting thing that I don't quite understand. This is what I don't understand. I have a flat root. I have a quarter inch per foot slope here. I have a quarter inch per foot slope here. How is it framed? Look, my light blue are my floor choice. I've defined that. I've defined those as uh, light blue as floor choice. White, white is fascia material. Okay, F fascia material. Blue are rafter materials. Blue are rafter materials. So. This is this is what I'm getting at. This is what I'm getting at. Okay. Look at this. See this blue roof over here? These are the rafters. Here's the roof plane right here. U U. Do I have a soffit on it? Yes. If I have a soffit on it, remember, if I have a soffit on it, the material of the rafters are the material that I define rafters as, as being. But if I don't have a soffit on it, what color are the rafters? They're fascia material. They're fascia material. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Because if I don't have a soffit on my roof, I want my rafters to be the same color as my fascia. Don't you? Don't you want your your rafters to be the same color as your uh, fascia because you don't have a soffit? And so if you look up underneath, if you look up underneath this thing, uh, bump uh, HJ, if you look up, up underneath this thing, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, if you look up underneath this thing, you, you, you want the rafters, the exposed rafters that might be sticking out of your wall, you know, your overhang, you want them to be the same, same color as your fascia. But if you have a soffit, I mean, I, I've talked about this before too. But if I have a soffit, it's going to revert back to the, the, the rafter material, okay? So now the question is, and these are actually ceiling joists, and, and I, I, ceiling joists are pissing me off. I don't understand ceiling joists. But here, I have a roof here. Why are those white rafters? Why are those white rafters right? Because I don't have a soffit. Is that the, the case? You think? Well, actually, I, I, I do have a soffit. I'm, I'm telling you, I do have a soffit with my roof. There's my roof. Pull this out just a little bit. And now you can see those rafters are sticking out, right? You, you, do I have a soffit on this? I have a soffit. If I have a soffit, why aren't they blue? I don't know. That's the conundrum I'm dealing with. So now I'm going to, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to do. Okay, now this roof, you, you, it has a soffit, so it shouldn't be fascia, the rafters should not be fascia color, they should be the color of my rafters. And I've defined my rafters as being blue, believe me. I know if you take it out of the box, it's gonna be this wood color, but I've changed it to blue, okay? So here's a question. If I move, uh, oh wait, suppose I move, suppose I move this roof, this roof plane right here in place of, oh wait, I'm gonna copy it over, still blue isn't it it's still blue isn't it oh wait a second suppose i suppose i take the soft off of it what is it it's white it's white white you see that it's white makes sense to me you you i'm gonna put the soft back on it should turn to blue it turned to blue so my question is why isn't this it's the same roof plane why isn't that blue because the one with blue has a soffit this has a soffit. So I want to find out when it gets in trouble. There's a uh, tab, 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 minus 200. Okay, I just moved it out. So now I'm going to put this, this roof back in place, okay? Still blue, that's what I expect. Still blue, that's what I expect. Still blue rafters, that's what I expect. Still blue rafters, that's what I expect. Still blue, rafters, I expect. 
still blue, that's what I expect. Still blue, that's what I expect. I expect that, that's, that's what's, what, what works fine. But I don't understand why this one, this other roof, is, is white, why I can't get it to be blue. Watch this, you, you, if I put a soffit on it, if I take the soffit off, it's gonna be white, white raptors. There they are, white raptors. You, you, put the soft back on, blue raptors, blue raptors. Over here, you, you, I have a soffit on it. Ain't that a pistol, man? I, I have a, uh, that's really weird. I, 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 don't, I don't understand, I don't know if you guys follow what I'm doing. It's this roof plane right here. It's this roof plane right here. What is the difference between tab, tab, 08? What's the difference between these two roof planes? I'm gonna select the two roof planes at one time, you, you, framing. Look how even the subfaces and stuff, that's the difference. Subfaces is one difference. The you, you, framing, all those are checked. That's the roof I like, that's what I expect, everything's checked. If I come over to here, you, you, framing, nothing's checked. One, two, three, four, how about if I check all that? It just changed. Did you just see what I just did? It just changed, why did it just change? You, you, why did it just change? Suppose I get rid of my e fascia, my fascias. Oh, that's the difference. What does that tell me? Think about this. I, look, we're trying to understand how this, this thing operates, okay? That's the whole point of this. You, you, suppose I get rid of my fascias. It screws it up. It's now white, even though it has, has a solid control Z. So what does that tell me? What, what does that tell me? That tells me, I think that tells me that I don't know what it tells me. Whatever it tells me, I don't even know if it's, even if it's important. Um, what that tells me is um, if I want to soften, but I want the uh, material to be the fascia board, which I don't know why I, I ever would. I have to get rid of the fascia. Anyway, screw it. It's, it's, it's not important. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so that, I guess that's, yeah, that's kind of cool. Hey. So th this, I think this parapet, the parapet video series uh, is going on. I'm, I'm really trying to understand these parapets, uh, trying to understand the different options that I have with the parapets. If I come over to, uh, if I, I'm on the second level right here, if I come over to here, uh, you, you, and I don't make that uh, go through floor platform, look, I just... But but out here in California, that's not the way we, we build it. We balloon frame these walls and then hang the stuff off of it, right? I mean, this is one option you can do. Look look look, look how I, I built this several different ways, didn't I? I mean, I have I have pretty good control of this thing. That's the end. That's the end of part two. If I can think about part three, I will. I think this is. A